All right. Guessing the price of the bus ride. The bus almost passed us. <laughs> Guys, I think we made it. Lost Ivana though. All right, Ivana, first things first. The name of the place we are. Sremski Karlovci. Sremski Karlovci. Sremski Karlovci. Okay, so beautiful village here. Really excited, small town. Some of our best memories in a lot of different countries are the small towns. Yes, that's right. So I think it might be first things first, a cappuccino and a croissant. Although consider You're hungry, considering the time, <laughs> considering the time, it might be some chavap and a beer. Oh, right. oh thank you. Okay, go let's go. Go to the center and find some good restaurant. Let's go. <laughs> I never knew the kids would actually dress up for Halloween here in yeah. Serbia. I think it might be a new thing because most people told us they don't celebrate. But what kid doesn't want to be Spider-Man for a day? Oh, they look so cute. Come on! <laughs> I've said it once and I will say it again. If you're a tourist and you have the opportunity to go to a church, cathedral, temple, synagogue, mosque, shrine, any sort of religious building, it's absolutely worth it. And this Orthodox cathedral behind me, just spectacular inside. And what's really incredible is this tiny town here was actually the site in 1699 where the Ottoman Empire signed a peace treaty with the Holy League which was the European powers all sort of working together. And so I think there's a painting in there sort of depicting this kind of huge iconic moment in history. It looks like there's a Turkish guy in the front in red. It looks like there's a member of clergy who's kind of up of raised above everybody, some flags in the background. This would have been a huge moment in uh, European history, right. 1699, agreeing Ottomans, please stop and making a deal right. here. Right, so, this town. Wow. Absolutely incredible. And right <laughs> in front of this cathedral, we have something called the Four Lions Fountain. Ivana is telling me if you drink from this fountain, you will in fact find, is it find your love? Yes, you will have, it's the source of life and love. Ah. So you'll have a good life. What if? And you'll find the love of your life. What if you already found your love? Then we'll just have a good life. Okay, let's go for that, let's go for that. <laughs> Refreshing. <laughs> yeah, very nice. So Yvonne and I have both taken our drinks. Uh, it seems to be lots to look at and lots to do. It's a little <laughs> tiny town. Right. With that being said, let's eat. Check it out, guys. Yet another iteration of Plushka Pizza with a cat on the railing. <laughs> what could be better than that? What do you got there, Yvonne? Some pork chop with some potatoes and sopka salad. Very, mm. very nice. And I tell you what, guys, we've got lots of things to do today. Mm. Smelling my hand, <laughs> looking for food. Uh, should be a great day. Lots of action in this small town, mm -hmm. including cats at lunch. Mm -hmm. But for now, we must eat our incredibly good-looking pleshka so pizza. <laughs> this is how we do it down in Serbia. <laughs> What a meal, absolutely five-star food. And now, just ahead of me here is in fact the first grammar school in all of Serbia. So from the outside, it looks awesome with the red and yellow color scheme. Just a massive building with some big trees. I think a grammar school is equivalent to like a high school in uh, my terminology. So this is like the first high school in all of Serbia. Now the thing is, there's a bunch of students, it looks like, going in and out the front door, as well as professors and stuff. 
So I think it's still in use today and Ivana and I have sort of chickened out from going in a high school that's still functioning. There is a sign out front saying it's a philological school, which I don't know if that's a typo or if that's a word, but it seems like it's still in use. There's tons of action in kids and professors. So we're going to admire it from the outside and maybe go to our next destination, which is in fact a winery. And we have a 1 p.m. wine tour booked. That's right. What could be better than that? Let's go. Oh, check this out, guys. Winery and Museum of Beekeeping. Museum of Beekeeping. Ooh. Two in one. Wow, let's go check it out. I'm excited. And just like that, it's party time. <laughs> so Ivana and I just had five different types of wine. Here is our sixth. And we're about to go for three different types of honey, which look amazing. Different types of honey. Because this winery not only does wine, but also honey. Briefly, let me give you a history lesson. So in the 1800s in Serbia, there was a man named Joba Zivanovic. His father was a winemaker, his grandfather was a winemaker, but Yoba got tuberculosis and he was given two years to live. And so he decided he would go out into the natural woods and the forest and uh, find some health. Right. And so he fell in love with beekeeping. He was in fact the first man to bring the modern beekeeping trade to Serbia. So back in the day they had these really old type of beehives that you had to kill the bee to get the honey. He said, this is no good. So as you guys have probably seen before, there's that rectangular thing that slides in and it's got hexagons on it. This is where the bees put the honey. He brought this to Serbia. Then you put it in a spinning machine and get the honey from it so the bees can live forever and you can get far more honey uh, to the point where nowadays in Serbia, if you win the top beekeeping award, you win the Jovanovic award. Right. It really is the father of beekeeping in Serbia. And he swears that the bees and the honey saved his life. He lived 50 years after his two-year diagnosis so that he made this shrine for the bees. He made a one-meter-tall cathedral, the exact replica of the Frushka Gora Cathedral, which is a functioning beehive. Right. So in that beautiful thing he made, you can pull out the top blocks, and there's bees living in there. Right. He won tons of awards. He really um, brought beekeeping to Serbia and so now you have this family the Zivanovic family who are expert winemakers and expert honey makers mm -hmm. Now we also checked out the um, wine cellar right. Which is like a hundred and some years old and It's covered in mold which looks kind of scary at first, but it's a pot. It's a it's a good healthy mold Yes to the point where it makes the wine taste better. So this wine mm -hmm. Is our sixth one Look at that. and it is a dessert wine Yeah, Berman. Which is called Bermet, yeah. and this is the famous wine of the region. And it's so famous that in the Titanic they have found bottles of Bermet. Right. So when the Titanic was sailing, uh, you can imagine the rich people of the 1920s drinking this dessert wine after their meals because right. it's that good. How cool! The top class of the United yes. States taken off. That's um, cool. And it tastes. Ivana said it tastes like fruit cake. Fruit cake. It's very fruity. It's it's sweet wine. It tasted. It tastes like no wine I've ever tasted it tastes before. Tastes like no wine you've ever tasted before. It almost tastes yeah. like mulled wine, where they yeah. add cinnamon and they add nutmeg and they add cloves That's right. because there's like spices in it. Yeah, they they added like twenty seven different herbs and spices or something like that. Pretty good. But it's very nice. And with that, let's get to the honey. So here we have regular honey. Mm -hmm. We also have honey with propolis mm -hmm. which is the thing we ate in malaysia it's like the bee flower bee food yes. really flavorful good flowery stuff and this is honey with sesame sesame seed do we just go in and go for it yeah is this the idea yeah uh, but use this spoon each time sure so this one is uh the right proper one. honey Look at that. which uh is a nice coincidence that today is the day yvonne and i have ran out of vitamins right so we didn't take our vitamins today and now we're getting but we got vitamins and all the good stuff from the honey. Mm -hmm. mm? How is it? Mm. So it's nice that it's natural honey. So it's got some kind of gritty texture. And it tastes like flour. This is just straight honey. Okay. It's really good. Mm. 
and it's got some kind of gritty, sandy texture. Ah, okay. Can I go one by one? Yes. This is very exciting. After five glasses of wine, what you want is three jars of honey, for sure. So this is the one that's going to be very flowery. Much darker color. Looks a lot thicker. This is Defying Gravity, this stuff. Uh, this has got propolis in it. Which is the healthy stuff. I forget what our friend was calling it in Malaysia, but I think it's, I think it's called yeah. bee food. It's what they, it's what they, it's like what they make out of flowers. It's in the nest in these little pockets of flowery okay. goodness. This one from a... Whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that one tastes really healthy. Okay. But so sour. Woo. Okay, moving on. Now this one she said, it's a very interesting flavor. This is... Sesame. Honey and sesame. I've never had honey and sesame no. before. Not sure. Oh my gosh, this one's still in my mouth. I think I'll, I'll like the sour one. What if, what if the wine goes good? Oh yeah. They say it's a good combo, honey and wine. Oh, it's a great combo. Hmm. Just killed the sour. <laughs> okay. Honey and sesame. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Your face? Well, I, doubt. I don't know if it's good or bad. It's like dry, dry fruits. It's peanut butter. <laughs> it's like peanut. Because <laughs> that sesame? Yeah. Kind, of, kind of nutty, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, the taste is good, but I really prefer the sour one. Okay. All right. Mm. Hold on. One more scoop of the sour one. It's so good. You never had anything like this before. It blows your taste buds right off. You put this much in your tongue, you taste it. In, All right. in your toes. <laughs> hey, it goes great with this bourbon wine. Cheers. How do you say cheers again? Javelli. 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 Oh my gosh. <laughs> there you have it, guys. I think that was the happy tour. The happy tour. And we did buy some propolis honey. For our health. 12 bucks. Ching. Okay, next stop we're going to a beautiful viewpoint. Yes. Let's go. For the end of the day. Amazing day today. Yeah. Who said there's nothing to do in Serbia? There's lots to do in Serbia. I know. Lots of to do. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Look at this. All right, guys, on our way to the viewpoint, we saw this lovely cake shop with all mm. these sort of bunt cake type right. um, shape with the yeah. hole in the middle. So this is a local specialty. This cake is no eggs. No sugar. No sugar, yes. Mm. Which seems impossible. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's like uh, Stollen. Okay. But uh, you have in, in Stollen uh, mar marzipan and butter. Mm. Yes. Okay. This in this cake? Yes. In this cake, special, you not have special. butter and uh, marzipan. Ah, no butter. No, no butter. Like cake. Uh, this is uh, <laughs> Stollen. Oh, it's it with okay, okay. flavors. With All right. The, uh, yes, and try this cake nuts. if you want. Try with this cake we make with uh, a young it's wine, special, uh, special. grape yeah. juice, and uh, it's, I don't know what the ah, English name. What is uh, Flour. Uh, no. no. Placenta. Uh, oh, Semolina. Semolina. Placenta. <laughs> and and the walnuts. Oh, try. Which try. one is okay. better? Okay. This is really good. This is like soft kind of jam texture. Mm. It's um young wine and walnut. Wine. This is amazing. Mm. Let's be clear. Five stars. Yeah. It's almost like a biscuit. It's not moist like a cake. Yeah. But very nice and all the different kind of fruits in it. Mm -hmm. And free samples, which you everyone likes free samples. the lemon, orange, uh, mm. with sugar. Uh, yeah. And... Uh, it's good and love inside. Uh, uh, grape. Ah, oh, grape. Okay. Yes. Uh, rosemary. Wow. Yes, and 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 and. Uh, it's very good. It's very good. Fig. Fig. Yes. So five fruits. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And five stars. Yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> let's get one. Yeah, let's get one. Okay. Which one? Maybe we should buy the the best one you said was raspberry chocolate. Mm, uh, cherry chocolate. Sorry, cherry, cherry chocolate. chocolate. Let's it's buy okay. one slice of cherry yes. chocolate. Yes. It's a Serbian traditional cake. Okay. Uh, we call vanilica. Okay. With uh, plum marmalade with lemon. Mm. And it's very crispy and uh, 
not crispy. Uh, it's very soft mm. and and uh, okay. Oh, that one. one. Okay. This is not the cherry chocolate one. Ah, no. this, this one. is another snack. <laughs> another one. snack to try. Okay. Looks so nice, right? With mm -hmm. the powdered sugar. Ooh. Very nice. One bite. One bite. Yeah. <laughs> you want to try? Not sure. Uh huh. Mmm. Doji. Doji. Mmm. Wow. You like this? Okay. It's amazing, wow. <laughs> it's so soft. Mm -hmm. So? Mm. Five it's, stars. It's, 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 amazing. It's, it's very, it's very popular uh, Serb Serbian cake. And when uh, when we have a wedding day, uh, we make this cake and mm. give uh, people on, on, on All right. wedding. Very nice. Very okay. nice. Lovely what? shop here. What a good pit stop. Yes. So maybe we'll buy one piece of cherry. The cherry. Okay. This yes. is what uh, our friend said was the best one. Yes. We said, okay. "What's the best one?" He said, "The cherry." All right. All right. There you have it, guys. So we've got our small piece of cake, and we got a full cake <laughs> for our friends because tonight we're going to our friend's house. Yeah. Uh, our our Serbian friends who live in Novi Sad. We spent ten dollars on the full cake. It was only eight, but we gave the guy two extra bucks because he gave us like ten different snacks. Look at the storefront. I just love it. So nice. All things dangling yeah. in the window. It's called kuglov. This type of cake. Kuglov. Yeah. Tell you what. Let's go up <laughs> to the viewpoint <laughs> and eat some cake. Let's go. Okay. All right. Long story short, I think the viewpoint doesn't exist. <laughs> the viewpoint says it's right at the corner of an intersection where two roads meet. Right. How could that be a viewpoint? Plus we've true, had true. plus we've had six glasses of wine, so maybe we're looking at the map upside down. But anyway, <laughs> uh, this is the best cake according to this guy. Uh, cherry, cherry chocolate. chocolate. Our bus. Let's go! <laughs> we missed the bus. Darn! <laughs> missed the bus. Good cake, though. Carry on. Now that you got so much time to kill, have some cake. That'll help you. Okay, yes. It's a really nice cake. Chocolate mm. and cherry. Alright. Tastes a bit like brownish or something. Fruit cake. Very nice. Alright. There you have it, guys. So, what do you think of this town? Amazing. One of the most fun days we had in Serbia yeah. so far. This is known as the prettiest town in Serbia. The prettiest town in Serbia. Yeah. Hoping there was a viewpoint, but we <laughs> couldn't find it. <laughs> there you have it, guys. All right. And tonight um, we're going to our friend's house. Yeah. For some local music and food. Hanging out. I think we'll show, show them the gift that we will get. Oh, yeah, we bought them a whole cake. Look at this. Ooh. Very nice. Okay. And I think for dinner, we will make them biryani. Yeah. All right, let's go back to Nofi side. Okay, let's go back. Thanks for watching our video. See you guys in a couple days. You'll see the video of us at our friend's house playing music and eating biryani. Having fun. Let's Boomba. go.